Yeah, Kerry, look, I, I understand exactly where Senator uh, Rouen is coming from in relation to this amendment. Uh, but again, we've got to manage people's expectation in a, in a responsible manner, in a responsible way. And we know for many, many years there is simply no information. That's not to say that there wasn't original information. Much of this information has been destroyed. Many of these people who are involved in these, these illegal acts are on the run or people who are responsible for them, or their sponsors and, and supporters, uh, are, are, have run away from many of the things. And the easy thing is just to light a match and do away with it. A lot of denial going on, both within families and within institutions of the state, and I think that's to be recognised. Uh, but, but, but there are people who deliberately withheld information over many years, and when they were persisted on, uh, they handed it over. Indeed, I know of two people who arrived at a particular institution some years ago and refused to leave, having been told they had nothing, and they secured the information. So they were lied through by their teeth by the establishment in case. So we're not all, it's not, it, it's not, it would be foolish of us to, to think that people were cooperating at all times. People were d deliberately set out to withhold information. It's not a question of information versus no information. Information that was withheld and deliberately destroyed is, is a terrible thing to do in relation to any individual at any point in their life. Minister, so, so I, I, I fully understand where this amendment is coming from. Minister, in your response, you might just touch on the creation of the centralised state repository of records, because I think in, in time where people cooperate, this should all be coming forward. I, I think we're going to, a lot of things we're anticipating won't actually happen, I, I, I think, and I don't say that in a sort of stroke remark. I think eventually those who want to cooperate and be supportive will let the information come forward, subject to the legal checks and balances that are required and obligations of people. But, but the centralised state repository of records is something that you mentioned before. Uh, and where people are willing, there might, there might be no one to give them to in terms of individuals, but this central repository may be a place which will hold much of this information and assist people in the future. Or, second and third generations of people who may wish to seek this information. Thanks.